basically the mental disability is just as bad as a gunshot wound. And just because I don't have a physical scar to show it, I'm still in Afghanistan up here. Like, a third of me is still in combat. That's what I feel like. But sometimes it's just, it's so overpowering, just like the pain of a gunshot wound or missing a leg, you know? The pain that's there from it can be more debilitating than being in a wheelchair. The height of everything was probably when I was working at the gate. It was the bloodiest gate in Kandahar. It was dark, <laughs> other than the lights that we had to blind people. It was dark, and there was a lot of radio talk going on back and forth from command about what's going on outside. We would search people all day long, in and out, um, help people medically, whether it was the sniffles to broken arms to other very, very bad things. People bring in kids, and you know the kids will be caught in a crossfire. Some of them, you know, some get injured, some they die. It was nerve-wracking because every soldier you knew was behind you sleeping while you're out there dealing with the truck that's trying to blow you up. I've still been having issues in the same spot on my upper spine, and I never received the results. It says a three millimeter, which is not too bad, uh, focal protrusion or herniation in C6, C7. That makes four discs in my back. It's mild, not enough to do surgery. But do you see, like, I feel like a slinky. Yeah, it, it keeps me from sleep sometimes, too. Before the military, I went to church and played guitar. That was it. I came back and doused myself in alcohol, just trying to get rid of the bad feeling rather than trying to accept what it was. And then when I finally stopped drinking, I realized, like, there's a lot of shit I gotta deal with right now. I saw myself doing a lot of bad things, getting in trouble. And that's not the route I wanted to go. That's not how I was raised. That's not where I came from. That's not even how the military raised me, you know? And I consider raised me because I was young. I joined when I was 19, so the Army was my dad. Everybody else saw it more than I did. I didn't know where I wanted to be. I didn't necessarily want to be at home, but I didn't want to be out in combat. And I was just kind of stuck. My wife, she, she did what she could to further understand. She would look up, she would talk to my parents, you know, and see how they deal with it. Um, she even got online and talked to other military families on how they're dealing with it. But because everybody's case is so different sometimes, it's it's kind of hard. She kept calling me crazy and calling me out on the PTSD and stuff. So I tried to show her how stupid and crazy I was by pulling out a pistol on myself. Um, I scared the living crap out of her. Uh, I put it away and she took off and I went to the mental ward. She stuck with me through the mental ward. She got to a point where she got to me, to where I needed to change my ways. Um, and I think that's what I needed. And now we have a family. I have a two-year-old daughter. Life is getting better. The VA does help. Every hospital has its bumps. Don't expect the VA to be perfect. <laughs> it's weird because, like, I didn't expect... I mean, I... I I thought it was a boy. She was just like, okay, yeah, it's gonna be a boy, I think. And I'm like, what do you think? You know already, man, yeah, no, I'm excited, I can't wait. It's more of a... The post-traumatic stress disorder, I can't stop thinking about it. For me, it's nightmares, cold sweats, staying up all night, um, ulcers. If I'm watching TV, Afghanistan's there. If I'm cleaning my car, Afghanistan's there. 
if I hear, see, smell something that rem remotely reminds me of Afghanistan, I'm there. I think it's going to live with me for the rest of my life. And that's the most hard part to accept. we got a whole bunch of people that are angry coming back. Angry at what? Angry at war. Angry at who? Angry at everybody. You know, I, the things I've done, I don't want another 100,000 people coming home and doing.